outsiders think they can change us. Why is it nobody ever seems happy to see us? Tom Wise? Huh? Oh, fuck. Haven't seen you since we did that job together for Athenra. Been a while. Heard you're going on some expedition into the Deep Roads. And right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? I fought Darkspawn before. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? Athenra's scarce these days. And the Coterie have their own mixers. You find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something, just let me know. In fact, since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? this place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? I'm just here to talk. We're interested in getting into the deep roads. Rumor has it you were a warden. Do you know a way? Did the warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Horse the pounce a lot. He hated the Deep Roads. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot in the Deep Roads? He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. The blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. So, you came to Kirkwall just to escape the Wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes. I'm here because there's no Warden outpost, no Darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with. And some reasons of my own. I've always heard that joining the Wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out, if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted Deep Roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Let's be more specific. I don't do anything involving children or animals. I have a warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. What do the Templars know of your plans? 
I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes, Andraste said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the Maker for mages to live as free as other men. Forcing mages into servitude is not the way to prevent the rise of another Imperium. That's not usually the response I get. Perhaps we will work together better than I expected. You've convinced me. What's your plan? I welcome your aid. I have already sent word for Carl to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Join us there, and we'll ensure that no matter who is with him, we all walk away free. shortage of idiots who think they can take the streets in the dark, but good reward in getting rid of them. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be made an example of no how else will mages ever master themselves you'll understand anders as soon as the templars teach you to control yourself this is the apostate What did you do? It's like... you brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. What did you do? N not the Fade part, the angry glowing bit. It's like a gateway to the Fade inside you, glowing like a beacon. I have some unique circumstances, yes. But Carl, what happened? How did they get you? The Templars here are far more vigilant than in Ferelden. They found a letter I was writing you. You cannot imagine it, Anders. All the color, all the music in the world, gone. 
I would gladly give up my magic. But this... I'll never be whole again. This is what Mother was protecting me from. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. My sister calls being tranquil a fate worse than death. Give him peace. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now! It's fading! Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. <laughs> we should leave before more Templars come. So, let me guess. This is the part where you tell me you're an abomination. You're wrong. But not far wrong. I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthi, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. What does this have to do with your eyes glowing? To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the circle. But I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he changed. So you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. That really didn't look like a happy, benevolent spirit from where I was standing. Since when is justice happy? Justice is righteous. Justice is hard. You tried to help a friend. Surely no harm can come of that? I wish I still had your innocence. There was too much hatred in me. Justice thought he would overcome that. But my anger... When I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. Can Justice ever be separated from you? I don't think so. The only way a spirit has ever been separated from a living host is by its death. The curses of my own making. All I can do now is hope to control it. Can you bring him out at will? No. He comes only when I've lost all power over myself. It's a madness, a frenzy. I only find out after what I might have done. Wow. Your problems make mine seem small. Here. These are all the documents I have for this area. I can understand if you would rather me not join you personally. I cannot control my need for vengeance. I would ask no one to take on the danger of traveling with me. I will be here in my clinic if you need me.